Welcome back everybody to Sonic Adventure. Since we already finished off Sonic's story, we might as well go over to Tails. Shall we start? Everything's working great! All systems go full speed ahead! Uh-oh! What's this? You're lucky I saw you come down. So what went wrong anyway? It's not like you to crash like that. Yeah, it's just that I'm testing a new prototype power supply. And it's not fully compatible yet. You can always borrow my plane, the Tornado, if you want. Thanks, Sonic. But if I can make this work, it'll run circles around yours. Check out this power supply! It's a Chaos Emerald! No way! I was lucky to find one of the seven Chaos Emeralds. They have unlimited mystic power. Now I want to harness that power to fly my plane. Let's go to my workshop in the Mystic Ruins and I'll show you what I've been working on. We'll go to the station, hop on a train, and get there in no time. Alright, so we're starting off as Tails now. Tails is relatively unique from Sonic. Besides being able to fly, he's not as fast, and his ramp up time to go full speed isn't as high as his. The second off is the cutscene that we just seen with Sonic and Tails. Whenever you're playing a different character's story, the cutscenes play out a little differently because it's coming from an other character's point of view. And depending on how they see the other character, they'll It'll change on how they see things. And before we head on to Mystic Ruins, we might as well go and grab our first optional power-up. By flying up here, we actually get the... well, how we're going to break the game. <laughs> Look, it's your jet anklet! Its jet power makes you fly faster! Yep, that's all it does. It increases our uh, flying speed. So now we're able to blitz through stages a lot faster. A relatively big power up and relatively important one. Alright, oh, attacks. Uh, Tails only has his normal swing. It, it gets an upgrade later on, don't worry. What I meant by optional power ups is. I'm pretty sure you've seen with the crystal, um, the crystal bracelet. That was an optional power up. A power up that you don't really need, but it actually helps you out in the long run. Every character has optional power ups, and well, be on the lookout for them. All right, since we're home. Might as well fly right over there. Oh, I fucking love the jet anklet. <laughs> well, well, well. If it isn't Sonic and Tails. It's Eggman! Silence! I am Dr. Eggman! 
Dr. Robotnik, the most cunning scientific genius in the world! Yeah, right, Dr. Eggman. Enough! I've been working on that plan, but now it's time to put it to work! That usually means trouble coming from you! Don't even try to do it this time. Give me that Chaos Emerald, or else! Or else what, huh? Or else I'll take it from you the hard way. Behold the egg hoarder once more. As we've seen there, it's uh, obvious that Tails sees Eggman as an actual threat. And yes, that's the same voice actor from before. It's uh, the first English voice actor for the games, being Dean Bristow. Uh, the man passed away early 2005, but man, the legacy that he kept for uh, Eggman is actually really, really damn good. Not an insult to the current one, Mike Pollock, but. And Dean, whenever he needs to get very dark with his uh, with his voice, he can actually he can do it very damn well. There we go. Well, it's the Angkor again. I don't really need to do much different. I need mean, to just toy around with him. And there we go. Rains real quick. Don't jump into the to the burning carapace. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't know I was about to postpone that. So, there we go. Uh, since Tails has no knowledge of Chaos prior to this, and Sonic was the one to tell him what Chaos was, uh, that whole dialogue exchange actually makes a little bit more sense for Tails' point of view. What actually happened is whatever happens in Sonic's story, but in the in the in our stories, they do explain a lot of things just to get the characters caught up. 
There's another emblem. And now let's fly over here to our house and grab the windstone. Yep, first off, we're going out to Windy Valley. <laughs> now we'll see the gimmick of Tales of Stages. It's not, well, it is, all, it is going to be get to start, but with a different coat of paint. So, let's get started, shall we? Place this down, flies right up, and opens the gate. Yep, you read that right. Beat Sonic to the Emerald. Yep, all Tales of the Stages are race based. So, our main goal here is to beat Sonic to the end. In a friendly competition. <laughs> uh, since Tails can fly, he can actually, well, cheat the system a little. There's also extra, um, well, extra items on the area, like these uh, boost, uh, boost rings, that allow us to skip parts of the level that Sonic or our uh, last competitor can't get through. Yes, come on. Since speed is key and uh, the AI likes to slingshot itself towards us, it, it becomes uh, more of a game of uh, where's the AI? Because it could easily catch up to us at any time it wants. But as you can see, we're in the final part of Wind Valley. That's why you meant by Sonic stages are the full stages and every other characters are only going through a part of it. Now upon the wind walkway, let's be a little cocky here. And get the Chaos Emerald. That's why I grabbed the Jet Anklets as soon as I could, because it makes a lot of the racing stages very, very that easy. From that little race, it's, it's time to find our ne uh, next Chaos Emerald. Obviously we're going to go over to Station Square. Bye. Bye. <laughs> yeah, Tails is very, very fast with the Jet Anglet, so moving around is a general ease. And that's a bonus when you have a platformer with a flying character. It kind of breaks the game in half. So, since we don't need the light speed shoes to hit the bun, so we fly up, bash with our skulls, and head straight in. Come on, Tails! Yep. We are now in the underground of the of the casino, so it's where our race begins. It's the only actually put the actual place that we can have the race. The roots still apply here, and I still like going to the very top because I'm greedy, and uh, this place stole my money before I want it back. <laughs> that sound we're hearing right now, the uh, charging, it is actually sonic charging up the spin dash. He is trying to speed himself up. The AI in this area gets very, very weird. So don't be surprised when um, when you hear Sonic just charging up his spin dash and nothing happening. Because he does that. He slingshots straight to us. <laughs> The AI is essentially waiting for us to slow down so we can catch up in a decent window. That makes it look like it's normal. But since it's not, it looks rather weird. And there we go. 168 rings to our name, and you see Sonic is actually now catching up fully. <laughs> it's like he's just breaking through the stage just to get to us. I think we'll actually see him soon? Yeah. The Chaos Emerald! Get 
away from there. To the Chaos Emerald. Ugh, Eggman got one of them, but the other one's safe. He must be getting desperate. Now the Emerald Count is two to one and Eggman's winning. Let's get a move on! Before Tales of Story, we actually do see that it's more Tails taking the lead and not him lagging behind Sock and following Sock's lead throughout most of the game. It's more of Tails doing his own thing and trying to become his own man. But every story has a different meaning behind it, and Sonic's story is the longest. I, I swear to you all that I'm not trying to blitz through the game, I am admittedly trying to be as slow as possible. <laughs> but since I know Tails' stage is the best out of the whole game, it kind of makes me hard to go slow. Oh yeah. Tails is trying to essentially take the lead on everything, which does work because Sonic is relatively laid back, period, so he doesn't mind taking the bath seat sometimes, it's just... Camera, 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 there we go. It, it, it fits for the story. Through your perspective, it it does show the, the difference between both sides. So, we put down the S-Crystal. And we open up the gate to, uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. well, I, I don't want to get the name wrong. Ice Cap. Now we enter up, enter into Ice Cap. Come on, Tails. Yep. Where instead of starting out with the normal platforming stage and going through all that, uh, that platforming uh, nonsense. We're heading straight into the <laughs> avalanche. And remember those tricks I showed you before with uh, the snowboard? And it does come into play here. And don't worry about Sonic here. He's not going to make a quick, um, a quick head start on you. You both essentially have the, we both have essentially have the same speed, but it's how we maneuver ourselves through this area. That's key. Because I don't think ice goals actually slow you down. Hey, the ice is just fun. Also, Tails has his own sad tricks. So, be well aware of that. Aw, what's that one? We're already relatively well ahead of Sonic at the moment. Remember, the ramps are your friend, you don't really need them. I actually got hit by those. Huh. Okay. It's a... With, uh... Yeah, I, I, I'm just kind of stunned at the moment. You, you learned things when you're doing a Let's Play, and, uh, well... Since I'm playing a game that I played since I was younger, it kind of shows how much I don't know about it. It kind of shuts me up immediately. But with taking that one, oh, well, with taking the top course, we actually outspeed Sonic. We get the Chaos Emerald ahead of him, and uh, we do rather well. I don't think it's possible to actually lose rings on this one. Hmm. That wasn't too bad. <laughs> With this done, and before we head off to fight Knuckles, because that's what happens next in our story, we are going to stop here. And next time on Sonic Adventure, we'll be going through, hopefully, not 
not the rest of Tales of Story, but a decent chunk. I'll hope to see you all there next time.